Hello movie buffs, the arrivals of the Venice and Toronto Film Festivals mark the beginning of the Oscar season. So what films are my favorites this year so far? Take note, here we go. For my favorite superhero movies, two films came to mind. First, Iron Man 3. Sure, it's a sequel, but for the first time, we see the vulnerable side of Tony Stark, aka Iron Man, played by Robert Downey Jr., proving that he was born to play the role. I also quite enjoyed Man of Steel. Yes, the non-stop and noisy action scenes near the end nearly ruined the whole affair, but the filmmakers succeeded in rebooting the franchise by giving us a superhuman Superman. Speaking of action, Fast and Furious 6 pleasantly surprised me. This film didn't take itself too seriously and it knew exactly what it was, a big popcorn movie. Speaking of big popcorn movies that know what they are, I'm applauding Pacific Rim, Guillermo del Toro's entertaining take on robots versus monsters. I also enjoyed Star Trek Into Darkness for its heart-pounding suspense. The same can be said for World War Z, a smart zombie movie that's littered with pulse-pounding goodness. For comedy, two movies about the end of the world take the cake. First, this is the end for its creativity and brilliant cast. And then we have The World's End. As far as I'm concerned, the trio of director Edgar Wright and star Simon Pegg and Nick Frost can make more Cornetto movies for years to come. For the best scary movie of the year so far, I'm still loving The Conjuring. Director James Wan is the contemporary master of suspense and he forces you to use your mind instead of relying on blood and gore. For the best documentary of the year so far, I'm still singing after watching 20 Feet from Stardom. Director Morgan Neville's homage to backup singers is potent, entertaining, and heartbreaking. For my favorite animated film of the year, I give it to Despicable Me 2. It's fun for all ages and the eye-popping visuals are very clever. In the drama and acting categories, let's give Kate Blanchett a big round of applause for Blue Jasmine from Woody Allen. I also would like to praise Matthew McConaughey in Mud. The actor gave a detailed performance without being sappy. I also quite enjoyed The Place Beyond the Pines for its brilliant narrative. The coming-of-age movie The Spectacular Now and the sweet and elegant before midnight. And if we're going to talk about best performances of the year, let's pause and think of James Franco who stole Spring Breakers as an insane clownish rapper. And the fantastic pair of Oprah Winfrey and Forrest Whitaker in The Butler. And my favorite movie this year so far is... Fruitvale Station. This true life tale is blessed with having Michael B. Jordan in the lead. He's at once poignant and devastating. So when I told him, I will see you at the Oscars next year, I'll repeat that again. He will definitely receive some honors. <laughs> so there you have it, movie buffs. My favorite movies of 2013 so far. I'm Manny the Movie Guy, very excited for the Oscar season.